everyone, and welcome back to Farawa. So this video is, as most of my recent videos are, long overdue. When I am recording this, it is the first day of April, but this video is about December and January, and some things that I did. I had written a script for this video, but each time I don't really like it, so I'm just going to talk and see how it goes. So the first part is December, and this is making gifts. So this day is actually, I believe, the last day before the holiday break at school, but we actually left at 9am because of the power outages that people were having, so our power was out while I was doing this. So I was making the gifts for my friends and my family. For my dad, I'm dyeing these just printer paper with coffee and old tea bags to make the papers look old and worn. Then I decided to make a journal. I watched some tutorial videos on YouTube and people basically just cut the paper. I decided to, to do nine sheets at a time and then they sewed through the paper a couple of times through the backing. You can find a better tutorial of how to make a leather journal on YouTube. Oh, somewhere else on YouTube. You're on YouTube now. Every nine pages I bundled the paper and sewed it together. Then I decided to finish wrapping my friend's gifts. This little glass bead my mom made and put it on the end of a bookmark. And I'm making gifts for my two best friends. I gave them some stickers that I made as you saw me packing before. They're in my Etsy. And the bookmark and some little succulent candles you saw me packing before. Oh, and chocolates. Here I am packing some cookies that I made for the post office and some letters that I wrote to my relatives that I just visited in Washington and if you want to see those videos they are linked above. Now I'm packing the extra cookies to drop off for some neighbors. Here are some stickers that I just received that I ordered uh, after I designed them from a company and they are now available on my Etsy. Now I'm dropping off the package at the post office, and they were closed by then actually for lunch, so I just dropped them in the package slot. Now it's time to get organizing. My room has always had stuff in it. I mean like boxes of art supplies and whatever that I just haven't put away because there's so much of it, and I'm not proud of it. but. It goes through waves where it's very nice and organized or messy, and lately this year it's just been pretty messy because of schoolwork. I've just been too exhausted uh, to take care of it a lot, and well, not take care of it, but you know, clean up or get get organized. And I'm, I'm trying to get organized again. I just organized that drawer, but I found a better space for all of the things, and so I took everything out and reorganized it. But I thought it would be good to keep this video in for this video. Then I made a to-do list of what I should do for the day. Now we will be delivering the gifts. I needed to record one scene for the film I made over the summer, and it's a summer film so I had to make it look like there was no ice on the lake, but I recorded that real quick, and then I got back in the car. The first friend wasn't home, so I just left it on her door, and then I went to the second friend who lives literally one minute away. So I'm going to go to the next one. Success! She was there. And she was home, and she liked it. 
Now I am almost home and am putting some of the packaged cookies into my neighbor's mailboxes. This took two hours. There's no way in any universe except one where there's some crazy demon cats. Should this have taken two hecking hours, bro? But you know what? Two hecking hours of Christmas cheer. I need to stop talking to a camera. These for my dad, because my mom wanted to give them to my dad. This for my mom, because my dad wanted to give it to my mom. Let's make some decorations now. We already have some decorations that I made last year or the year before, and you can see them in my winter solstice crafts video linked above but I decided to go out and get some new materials since the evergreen is long dead. By this time in this video, it had only snowed about twice this season, and each time it was just little flurries, so it didn't last that long and it wasn't that much, which was a bit disappointing, um, because I was kind of hoping for a white Christmas, but that's a bit much to ask. Because over the past couple years, I've noticed that we've gotten a significantly less amount of snow each year because of the climate change. <laughs> We did have a week where it was literally like minus 7 or 14, uh, I'm, I'm, okay, it was like 17 degrees and then we had like two days where it was minus 14 I think. Alright, my camera is a bit foggy, but now I will start making the decorations. I'm cutting these branches. This is the star that we made in the other video and I'm taking out the dead evergreens and putting in the new live evergreens. Here they are, looking pretty nice. And I think that looks very pretty. We still have the star up actually. So I used flower crowns in my film this summer and I w they were made of twisted wire so I am just twisting the evergreens through the twisted wire. It's lake water. What? It's lake water. The stuff I had put in the lake. It's outside now, but it still smells. This lady is so cute. I love her. She's actually sitting with me right now as I'm doing the voiceover. And I've been feeling a little emotional around these holidays because it is my last year at, like, fully at home. And I'll, I mean, I'll be back for next holiday probably, but I'm going away to college uh, next school year and I just got really emotional because I wanted to do everything and I was feeling like I really wanted to connect back with my little childhood. So I wanted all the decorations out and I wanted to record all of this and we saw the lights. Every Christmas Eve, we drive out and see our town lights. This is the train station, actually. They decorate, like, a lot. It's pretty impressive. And then one of the neighboring towns always sets up these beautiful stars, and they look like they're floating. Wait, what is this? A fake extra tall British Oh, I didn't know. I didn't see it. There's a phone in there. We 
actually found something we didn't expect, which was this art setup of a phone booth. Inside, you could pick up the phone and a voice came on and it said like a British inspirational quote um, about how dreams and wishes are powerful and then it asked you to make your own wish. I want my family to be healthy and live long, happy lives. That's my wish. And I think they probably recorded the wishes to make a big project, but we made our wishes and then we continued with our drive. Some houses went all out, which is pretty impressive. Oh, then one of the other neighboring towns always has this big setup where the music on the radio is synced to the lights. Right next to that, they have a Christmas countdown. It just has a timer that counts down to midnight. And I really, really wanted to see it, but we went the other way and I felt bad because I, I just, I wanted to do everything this year as we did when we were kids because I felt like it was my last year as a kid because I was becoming an adult at my next birthday. We got pretty much most of the way home and then I mentioned it and my mom wished I had brought it up earlier, but my dad was really sweet and he drove us all the way back just so I could see it. And that means a lot to me. And I know that was kind of a lot to ask, but it, it still means a lot to me. Now it is 2 a.m. and my mom and I are wrapping gifts for the family. Here's my dad's journal. It's finished. I also got my dad some chocolates and chocolate rocks. So I thrifted most of my mom's gifts. I thrifted her a mirror, which I painted, and I thrifted her a book of organization stickers. I also got this sign. Um, I tried to pick one that I thought the design was pretty simple so no one would really feel bad if I painted over it, and I, I painted a sign for her business. I also thrifted her a metal stand. I thought she could display her glass on it. Then I got my brother some exercise stuff. Here's our decorations, and I asked my mom to read the book that we always read on Christmas Eve. My dad usually reads it, but he was asleep. It's Toot and Puddle and the, uh, the Christmas Nut, I think, and that was very nice. It's so hard, Puddle said. It's beautiful, said Toot. If only two were here. So here's on Christmas Day. I am making a Yule log. I really wanted to bake a Yule log, but we just didn't have time. So I've done this, I think, the past two years. I've gotten a bit better at it. It was pretty hard the first year. I am taking a chisel, I think. This might just be a screwdriver that I'm destroying. And I'm carving out pieces for three candles. And here is a song that I was just listening to nonstop during that time. Now that everything is decently carved out, I'm going to set it up. I had to carve down the candles a little bit to get them to fit, and one of them I carved down a bit too much, so I had to stick some wax in between 
in between the holes. Also, the bottom was a bit rolly, so I tried flattening a bit, but I'm not great at it. It worked though, it, it worked pretty well. I got this little candle cottage when I went thrifting for my family's gifts and I thought it was really adorable. And now I am making some cookies. So the last bake I am baking for December is apple, I don't remember what they're called, but basically you put the apples in a pan with some like crumble, crumble oat paste, sweet oat paste, and you bake it and the apples get all nice and baked. <laughs> I saw it. Uh, recently, a YouTuber that I watch made it and I thought, hey, I want to make it too. And it was pretty good. I will link the recipe below if I can find it. December is gone, and now it is January. On the first day of the new year, we always go to a beach. I'm not sure why, it's just a tradition that we've done for a couple of years, and we just do a New Year's beach walk. My brother, as of last year, I believe, has decided to do a New Year's swim. So he did that, and of course, everyone on the beach was impressed. And as we were leaving, another family came up, and I think they were also going to do it. My friends and I decided that we want to hang out more this year. We're good friends, we just don't hang out that much because of school. and just our own stuff, like a job or hobbies and stuff that we do. But we went out for coffee and cocoa at a local coffee shop, and then we walked around and had a good time. Hey, I'm as tall as you. Outrageous. You have fat more sneakers on, I just have little sneakers on. Yeah, but even if I go like this, outrageous. Because the fog's like coming up over there, out of the water. Yeah, I would be there. Take this one. Ha ha, we'll keep picture. <laughs> Here I am, I'm making a present for one of my best friends, and her birthday was in September, and it is now January, so, yeah. Would you like a fake diamond? I thrifted this shirt at the thrift store she works at, and she wasn't working there that day, so it was good. So I removed all of the sparkly gems, and at that time, one of my uncles was staying with us, and I gave him a couple to bring to his other nieces and nephews. I embroidered these little foxes in the corners because I had seen something like it on Pinterest, and I know my friend likes stuff like this. I do too. And I wanted to 
try embroidering again and it took a while that's part of the reason i got it to her so late just because the embroidery i think just because it was a little intimidating to do all this but i sewed it all and i was very happy that it was done and i thought it looked very cute So I tried it on and originally I was going to make it so it would just be a collar but then I decided maybe she would want to show the bottom or just wear it as a button down so I took off the sleeves and she can wear it under her sweaters or whatever she wants to do with it. Okay, so now I am ironing it and packaging it up to drop off at her house. I got some wax seals for the holidays and I'm using them. This is my dad's wax. So here I am testing it out, I think for the second time, and it went really well. I really love how they look. They have some detachable wax seals, so there's a bunch of different designs I can choose from. I chose the mushroom for my friend. Also, these are just random pictures to put here, but these are some ice cubes. Well, not ice cubes, but ice my brother found outside, and I thought it looked really cool. Okay, I wanted to show our holiday setup one last time because I feel like I won't be able to enjoy this as much when I'm at college because I'll be home I won't be home for the entire December, so I'll probably be home for maybe like a week or something. You sound like an old lady. And I don't know if they'll decorate as much when I'm not here. And we'll be giving some decorations away because we have quite a lot, so I wanted to go all out and just remember everything. And then I found out later we didn't actually put all the nutcrackers out. Mm, that's fine. Preparing for night through the trees, I will run. I will rest. Okay, let's make some waffles. We got this little mini waffle maker. Um, my mom's extended family does a grab bag each each Christmas get together, and my dad grabbed the waffle maker, which apparently my mom brought for the grab bag. And I actually wanted to take it from him, but he said I could use it. So I have been using this waffle maker a lot actually, and I love how they're so small and really easy to make. 
and very cute and I've made chocolate chip ones, I've made blueberry and banana and they're just very good and they make about eight waffles if you make them fairly big but if you make them small they make I think a bit more but they're very easy and good. Wait until the sun dims and dance with you over the dancing Now I am finally transferring this salt that I got in Washington into a better container because it was just in a bag before. It is so pretty. I got it at a farmer's market and unfortunately I don't know the lady's business. I wish I did. I wonder if I can find a card somewhere. But anyway, there were many options to choose from. I think one of them had sea kelp, but I chose the Wildflower Washington Sea Salt. And I haven't used it yet, but hopefully sometime. And I got this label maker for Christmas, which I love, but it jammed, and my dad helped me fix it, and now it's jammed again. So, yeah. Otherwise, I love it. <laughs> I think this is really cute, and I hope to use it sometime. I just, I don't know. I, I, I also am hesitant to use it because I don't want to use it all up because I feel like it's really special. And it's so pretty. Here, I am finally going to fix the bird feeder outside my window. My dad handmade the whole thing for my 16th birthday. It's great because it's outside my window so I could see see the birds out there, but the squirrels can easily get to it, so they just eat all the food and do not treat it well. So the wire broke, so I decided to try and add some dangly charms that would make noise when the squirrels go on it so it would scare them away. And even when the squirrels are on it outside my window, and I can bang on my window and shout at them, and they won't care at all. Um, they're pretty robust squirrels. They have food they can get other places on our property. They're taking all the birds' food, that's the problem. My, my dad fixed the bird feeder, and so far I haven't seen any squirrels, but I also haven't put food in it in a while. Now I'm working on a painting that I'm trying to finish for a school art show. It is based off of a song I wrote. I will show you guys the finished painting later, right now it is at an art show, and I also wanted to finish it before college portfolios. responding to a letter from my pen pal in Canada and she sent it. I got it in August and I just didn't reply for a long time and I feel really bad about it um, but I was going through a friend breakup and I was really I didn't realize how much it was affecting my other relationships my mood I mean I was really really sad and it was definitely affecting my schoolwork and my anxiety but I didn't realize how it was affecting my other friendships and relationships and how I was interacting with people because it was took so much energy. Um, but I finally, I was just, I couldn't take it anymore. So I wrote to this, the, the, uh, the friend, which, who is in school and they texted me back and explained everything. And apparently it wasn't my fault. I had totally thought it was all my fault which is the subject of one of my other paintings, which you saw in the background a couple clips ago. Um, but it made me feel a lot better, and we started to reconnect and, exp and, and say how we were feeling. And that was a huge relief. I felt so much better 
now now we're friendly at school and I'm, I'm, I feel a lot better and I think it's a weight off of both of our shoulders to say how we were feeling but anyway we're friendly and it's good so I, I wrote back to my pen pal and I felt so terrible because it was a bit it has been about five or six months I explained everything um, and I felt terrible she recently I got her letter in March and I was so excited because I thought she didn't want to write to me anymore she was she's always so sweet so I'm going to write back very soon so if you've seen some of my Washington videos I talk about these stores that are underground in Port Townsend and one of them that we went to was the Chandlery and it's this very cool witchy medieval store and the guy who worked there, Jordan, my mom showed him my stickers and he actually bought some of them to sell in his store. So uh, here I am sending off the stickers to Washington State. Now I am using the wax seal to decorate my pen pals letter and make it extra special and I'm having way too much fun playing with the smoke. Okay, now I am finally donating my hair. Um, I got it cut August before my sophomore year. Oh my gosh, I don't remember when I got my hair cut. I think it was August before my junior year, actually. Yo, what the heck? So I think I got it cut August before my junior year, um, and I just didn't donate it until now because I don't know why. I just never got around to it, and so I'm finally sending it off to the company or the organization that is going to turn it into wigs i cut off eight inches and it's also it was very good for my hair because my hair was not very healthy because when i was younger i would just if i had a knot i would just chop it out and i also brushed it like way too aggressively so there were a lot of split ends and stuff anyway another ramble but that's what i do when there's no script and i cannot mention my haircut without mentioning the mistake of april when I got a haircut that I really hated. I tried to do a short hair tutorial, but I just wasn't feeling it. I went to get a haircut recently, and there was a little confusion, I'll say, or mis mis miscommunication about what it was, so it ended up being um, a lot different than what I wanted. Even though I was able to do some you know, cute styles that I liked. Overall, I am really, really happy that it grew out because I, I don't love it. It's looking a lot better already. So you didn't like it at first either? Of course not. You know, I'm, look, you know I'm a long haired guy, you know that, but you, you do a lot and you're already making it look like you're wrong, which is good. Thank you, it wasn't my choice. I know. If you have this haircut, don't feel bad. I think it, pro it probably looks really cute on you. It just wasn't me. I wasn't expecting it. I just asked. F I just asked for a trim. And I don't know why I didn't speak up. I guess I thought she was doing her thing. But anyway, um, I never thought I would have a bad haircut. And then there I was. Uh, I hated it. I was really embarrassed, and I cried. And it's a big deal over. A haircut's not a big thing, but it just kind of threw me off. So. That's over. Another rant. Uh, this video is just a bunch of little rambles. So I hope you liked this video. This is the beginning of part of winter. Um, there will be one more, I think, winter video because I got a little. We got a little bit of a we weather surprise. It actually snowed, uh, just for one day, but it was enough to play in, and, and I made some snowmen and stuff. So I, I have the footage of that, and I'll make a video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little early winter video compilement. And maybe we will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now, from Farawa. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you got some inspiration 
or ideas from this video and um as always we have some uh links for other places to find us down in the description below i'm gonna see where this haircut goes i actually give myself some some new inspiration of, of what to do because i've only had it for a couple days so again thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video goodbye for now from farwa bye <laughs>